¿Cómo está, Erao? Good, good, good. ¿Está bien, tú? Va bien. Ok, ¿dónde hay otra? Oh, ok. ¿Sabes que buen día, no? Buen día, Raúl. ¿Cómo está? Está bien, ¿y tú? Thank you, está bien. Gracias. Gracias mil. Gracias mil. Perfecto. My, my daughter, uh, daughter has birthday today, so... Oh, buen cumpleaños. If you want to see them. Buen cumpleaños. Happy birthday, Vito. Happy birthday to me, Kailu. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What you is the name? Aruhi and Arushi. Both, uh, they are twins, actually. Oh, can you see nice. it here? Not. Can, can you see, see us or? Yeah, yeah, I can see you. Okay, you can, then you can see my daughter also. Yeah, I can see the decoration also on the top. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Yeah, Praveen is also there. Ciao, uh, buongiorno. Buongiorno, Praveen. Come va? Tutto bene? Sto bene. E tu? Thank you, sto bene. Okay. Cosa facciamo oggi? Reflective verbs. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, did you guys get time to revise this? Uh, are, are, and are, uh, Yes, I did the round. Okay. Yeah, we have done some, I have done some homework also on some. Very good. Some of the house. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Very good. You are to karta di credito, tu accetti euro valuta. Hmm, very good. Voi permettete tutta l'acqua. What does it mean? President? Do you allow uh -huh. water? Tutta all water or what is that? I don't know. Tutta yeah. means all uh, yeah yeah all, all the water okay i didn't get the same sense but uh, correct noi chiediamo per gelato we ask for ice cream okay io credo in duro lavoro perfect i believe in hard work <coughs> very good loro rompono segnale Okay, they break the signal. To pour the aqua, you bring aqua, water. Lo i compra rosetto, lo i compra plano viaggio, lo i cambia. No, cambiamo il lavoro, cambiamo. We change the flight in Dubai, right? Loro police kono casa. Perfect. Noi accettiamo la proposta. Very good. Io permetto fumare. But why do you permit? It's not good for him. Okay. Io chiedo. Chiede aiuto ogni giorno. Lui chiede aiuto ogni giorno. He asks for favor every day. Help. Noi crediamo in Jesus. Perfect. Rompi le regole ogni giorno. Use. Okay. 
loro portano gioia de prendere gioia e compra fiori io cancello la prenotazione ok noi cambiamo finché la è cambiare cambiamo Ah, ok, 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 ok. Yeah. Single eye is fine, ok? You don't have to put the blank. The police go. Uh, no. Perfect. This is good. And I think you guys are on track. And uh, you guys know if there is any verb, how to conjugate it between persons, right? I think that part is clear, right? Yeah. Yes. That is more... Yeah, it is just that you have to memorize the meaning of each word. Correct. Yes. Correct. Very good. And that cannot be done overnight. We have to put a schedule every day at least. At ten least minutes. try to remember like, hey, no, 10 minutes is nothing. No, 10 words. Uh, like even if 10 word is not fine, at least <coughs> try to remember two, three new words and two, three new vocabulary now. Right? So if you remember at least two, three noun and two, three vocabulary, and you guys are three, right? Create a personal group, okay? <laughs> Rather than including Terex into that on WhatsApp, okay? And you guys can start communicating in between. Whatever word you know, you can ask, hey, Vinay, I have found this word, okay? Or you just make a simple sentence using any noun or any word, right? <clears throat> so Sasidhar and Vinay uh, will look at it, right? So anyone, uh, and if there is any mistake, I will be there to correct it, okay? Okay, Ram. I can do that. Uh, whenever you guys communicate, uh, include me in the WhatsApp group, I will correct that. Right? Wherever you guys are making mistakes, and I will tell you the logic behind it, why it is wrong. Okay? Okay. Perfect. One question I have, Rahul, like most of the, when, when we do Google Translate, most of the cases, they don't, Use subject pronoun. Is mm. that a common thing? Or if we write subject pronouns, is that wrong or how is that? Okay, uh, I can answer your question. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we have to learn using uh, subject pronoun. Sometimes it becomes mandatory to use subject pronoun. <clears throat> Let's say um, if we are talking, if we are telling the sentence, she is beautiful. Okay. Okay, let's come back to our. Yeah, she is beautiful means then the subject pronoun is uh, required, I guess. Yeah. But when you're saying, uh, I. So any of the combination when they directly use. Like so when, yeah, when when somebody says, "I am handsome," right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. It is not required to add io sono bello. Okay. okay. This is correct and this is equally correct. Sono bello, yeah. So, basically, <clears throat> for uh, like, it is good. It is good habit to use it. Okay. It is good habit to use it. But if you don't use it, that is not a mistake. But please use it for at least third person because that uh, the gender is clarified. Okay. Clear? Yeah. 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 Going forward, uh, <clears throat> when we will, uh, when we when we will start translating uh, like passages and all, you will see like Italian don't uses uh, subject pronoun. So Bina is right. That, uh, sorry, Praveen is right. <clears throat> that um, you will mostly not find subject pronoun. Right? But if I will tell the same thing at the beginning, you guys will not learn. That is the problem, no? So I cannot <laughs> him at the starting. Okay. Yeah. It's like a shortcut. Yeah. So no, this is not shortcut. This is equally right. Yo sono bello, sono bello. Both are hundred percent equally right. But initially, say I will not tell you that. Okay, you cannot like you can avoid using subject pronoun. You will not do enough practice. Right? Okay. So <clears throat> that is the reason. There is reason behind everything. Okay. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's come back to uh, what we learned in our last class. Okay. 
so guys uh, doing a quick recap what we learned in our in last class okay kare type of verb and gare type of verb whenever kare means c gets combined with i or e we add an additional h just to retain the pronunciation okay so wherever c is getting combined with i we see over here third person singular and uh, first uh, sorry second person singular and first person plural we add an additional s just to retain the pronunciation <laughs> any doubt in this part no we can add only the h h in the end. see but yeah why see. and why are we adding only h not any other alphabet because h is always silent right so we don't have to pronounce it and our work is also done mm -hmm. no but it is only used to be in the writing or while speaking also because anyway it's silent yeah 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 <coughs> so Keep while speaking nobody can check your spelling no? so joko joki joka jokyam jokate jokam if i will not add h over here it will become joko jochi joka jochyam jokate jokam because when c gets combined with i or e <coughs> the pronunciation that comes out is ch not ch right go hmm? clear any confusion no 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 clear h in because of i yeah yeah e is regular or not other jothi okay clear to me i hope it is clear to everyone vinay and ravin as well yeah Cool. So then we learnt reflexive verbs, right? This is very difficult. So we learnt that uh, whenever there is a, see any action is called a verb. If there is happen, there is any action that is happening, that is a verb for sure, hundred <clears> percent. <throat> Lavare means to wash. If we are doing the action on any object, it becomes regular verb. And when we are doing the same action on ourselves, it becomes reflexive verb <clears throat> so the meaning of lavare verb is to wash the meaning of lavarsi becomes to wash myself <clears throat> or to wash yourself okay okay yes <clears throat> which is equivalent to take to take bath <clears throat> which is equivalent to to take bath right so whenever we want to say uh, i i take bath right so we will have to add reflexive pronoun whenever we are just telling that i am washing something we will use subject pronoun okay mm -hmm. yeah cool clear any confusion in this part for lavare and lavarsi verb no i don't see Total silence. Hmm. No silence. Sir. <laughs> Tell me if you don't understand, I will again explain it. So when did you say yeah, you? I, I understand. Not you. Okay, you understood. Yeah. Yeah, Rahul. When do you use subjective pronoun and when do you use the reflexive pronoun? See, subject pronoun, as you say, no, normally we use everywhere with all the verb, regular verbs, right? Reflexive pronoun using reflexive pronoun means that the action is happening on the on the person. Okay. So when we are using reflexive pronoun, it indicates that the action is happening on that person. So when we add me, t, c, g, v, c, it means that. Me lavo means I wash myself. T lavi means you wash yourself. C lava means he or she washes him or herself. Okay, means mm -hmm. I take bath, you take bath, or he or she takes bath, we take bath, you all take bath, they take bath, right? So <clears throat> just adding a reflexive pronoun says that action is happening on the person. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This also the same See, uh, you don't have to hit your head too much. Okay. 
<coughs> so whenever you have to conjugate the verb for to was use it as lavare whenever you have to use the verb as to take bath use as lavarsi and the conjugation of lavarsi will have a reflexive pronoun okay just that is it like you don't have to worry too much about it okay okay slowly and steadily you will um, like it will get used to it you will get used to it okay so similarly for preparare there is a word preparare preparare means to prepare prepararsi means to get ready if it is confusing just just understand the meaning of prepararsi is to get ready not prepare yourself okay the meaning of lavarsi is as <coughs> okay as simple as that remember this lavare means to wash lavarsi means to take bath okay preparare means to prepare prepararsi means to get ready the conjugation difference is that for verb ending with si is a reflexive verb so we will use reflexive pronoun instead of subject pronoun the conjugation remains same okay hmm? clear it will be clear when we will uh, after this uh, don't worry when 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 we will make our uh, daily routine it will be mm -hmm. clear okay in next class we will uh, we will prepare our daily routine okay so in that it will get clear okay and i will keep annotating on that so don't worry okay <clears throat> lavare preparare then some there is something called speliare speliare means to wake up okay we put an alarm okay we put an alarm and we wake up because of that sound okay veliare mm -hmm. okay because of my habit i woke up and no, without any external forces i woke myself up okay mm -hmm. that becomes s v e l i a r c okay to wake up okay myself without any external forces without your mom hitting you you woke up that means swell yaar see okay your brother or sister came and put water on you and then you woke up that is swell yaar okay clear yeah perfect don't worry okay so again the conjugation will remain same is veli are ka are wala conjugation you can do right is veli is veli is veli is veli amo is veli ate is veli ano and you can use io tu lui lei noi voi loro for regular for reflexive verb we will have to use reflexive pronoun right mitisi mitisi chivisi okay similarly there is another verb called alzare alzare means to get up Okay. Hmm? To get up. Hmm? Someone okay. asks you to get up. Your mom shouts and asks you to okay, get up from the bed. Okay. Then you mm -hmm. get up. Okay. So simple get up is alzare. Right. But uh, you don't have any other option. You have to go to office. You stay alone in the hostel, right? Or you mm -hmm. even in your room, like uh, you prefer you do everything by your own. so you don't need anyone's assistance and you wake up or you to you get up from bed without anyone shouting on you right mm -hmm. that without any external forces you woke up and then you got up from bed yourself okay becomes alzarsi okay mm -hmm. to get up yourself okay clear clear Yes, under C. Under C. So alzare me we will use subject pronoun. Alzar C me we will we will use <coughs> because C is an indication of reflexive verb. We will yes. use the reflexive yes. pronoun, right? The conjugation of alzar C will be me also, T al C, C al sa, C al ziamo, V al zate, C al zano, right? <coughs> Alzare ka conjugation will be io also, ti alsi, si alsa, ti alziamo. Sorry, uh, noi alziamo, yeah. voi alzate, loro alzano, right? Yeah. 
okay clear <clears throat> any doubt yes sir no doubt in more i understand there will be some a bit of confusion in this but when uh, <clears throat> you just have to remember these four verbs for now okay mm -hmm. lavare and lavarsi have dual meaning okay preparare and prepararsi <clears throat> svelare and svelarsi alzare and alzarsi okay just remember mm -hmm. these four verbs okay mm -hmm. under reflexive verbs okay cool <clears throat> let's uh, jump on to irregular verb there are list of verbs that do not follow that do not follow the pattern that we have learned okay <clears throat> very simple example is essere and avere right we learned very first like very first verb we learned essere and avere right and that right. do not follow this uh, pattern essere has conjugation called sono sei essi amo siete so right mm -hmm. avere have the conjugation called o i am they are right right that doesn't follow this <clears throat> you say are verb with becomes o e a i amo ate are and ere is o e a i amo ate o o no but uh, avere and essere doesn't follow that right so right. avere and essere are irregular verbs the first irregular is avere essere right mm -hmm. very good <clears throat> we will learn all the rest of the verb okay where in and again copy the subject pronoun pare pare means to do okay to do yes all right faccio fai fa facciamo fate fanno fanno okay o ai e yamu eti correct and right yeah this is not following the pattern okay dare means to give okay <clears throat> mm -hmm. so guys um, uh, what about friday you guys were telling something uh, rahul i will not be there in friday mm -hmm. what about binay and pravin pravin i don't know pravin is Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I am here, Praveen? but uh, it would be better not to have it on Friday. I think people will go for vacation. <laughs> we have a long weekend actually. Yeah, right. next class we will have on Monday, okay? Yeah. And uh, Praveen, Praveen is there, no? Monday? Sorry, to, uh, Friday. Friday. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> but still, the what Binay is uh, suggesting, uh, people are on vacation. People means I am only vacation. <laughs> No problem. Whatever you say, I'm okay with that. I'm also in vacation mood. I don't know if I'm going anywhere. Uh, no problem. No problem. We will have next class on Monday. Okay. Ah, uh, Rahul, uh, Monday I'm not sure because I'm traveling to my university. Ah. Okay. That uh, is my certificate for the visa. Okay. So probably I will not be there on Monday also. I will take uh, the classes from you recording. Okay. No problem. And uh, if any questions, I will reach you. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm always available. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> another verb is uh, so next class is on Monday. Okay. okay. So another verb is dare. Dare means to give. Okay. Conjugation is do, dai, da, diamo, date. Okay. Dire. Dire means. to say okay dici dice diciamo dite di 
Okay. <clears throat> Then there is called andare verb. Okay, andare means to go. I go, you go, he go, she go. So okay. Okay. Vado. Vai. Va. Andiamo. Andate. One. Okay. Then there is a verb called venire. Means to come. The conjugation is. Vieni. Vieni. Veniamo. Venite. Vengo. Hmm? Andare, dare, dire, fare. There is a word called bere. Bere means to drink. Bevo. Bevi. Rahul, on, on uh, veni, venire, uh -huh. welcome means like ben venuto. So venuto is not a conjugation here. It's a, what kind of conjugation is that? Venuto itself should be a something yeah. related to come, right? Venuto is yeah. not there in the conjugation. Yeah. It is not there. So that is uh, actually past participle. Okay, that oh. you will understand when we will learn past tense. Okay. So they are saying uh, welcome means past. You so, uh, ben, you ben, are being welcomed like that. Yeah, you are being welcomed or something like that. So, uh, ben venuto. Ben is good for good. Buono may say it comes ben. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, venuto is uh, actually past participle of venire verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Bevo, bevi, beve. Beviamo. Bevete. ಹೌಸ್ಟೇನ್ or i will remain in office the whole day okay mango rimani ah uh, rimane rimani mango okay last class i forgot to put this into recording and uh, if i forget guys please remind me because uh, it is good that we will have a backup uh, correct correct last class after class we re uh, recall that and we did a mistake today no i yeah so i started uh, recording it as soon as i logged in okay tenere tenere means to hold to hold is what i am holding a cup of tea in my hand so that holds okay? okay i am holding a paper in my hand or 
I am holding a big briefcase in my hand. So that is gold. Okay. That is why I love English, uh, Rahul. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always holding no, holding go, holding a, holding a. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tengo Tiene. See, after some time, no, you guys will love Italianos. It is just that initially something you don't understand, then you get fed up. Okay, right. come on, I'm not able to understand it, and so on. Okay. Teniamo. Ten. Tenere and up it will be ten. Maybe I'll write a couple of poems in Italian, then I'll start loving it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But before that, you have uh, something called these days I have seen kids watching uh, poems into YouTube. Right? There are a few Italian poems also. <laughs> You can start listening that and uh, you will be able to see uh, I will put this down because the three verbs are called modal verbs. Okay. You know what is modal verbs? <clears throat> modal verb is nothing but an assistant assistant verb. So whenever, uh, whenever there is, uh, whenever we are using a modal verb into the sentence, there will be for sure another uh, verb into the sentence. There will be always two verbs in the into the sentence. Okay. So dovere means to have to. Okay. Means by force. You have to do this. You have to complete your homework. You have to learn the list of the verbs. Okay. <clears throat> so there is a difference between avere and dovere. Okay? Avere means have. That means you are possessing something. I have a pen. Or Bina has a big car. Okay? So Bina is owning that. So that is avere. But if Bina has to complete the homework, that is dovere. Hmm? Okay. So some people get confused between have to and to have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. To have is something you are possessing. To have to is a warning or a, or a guidance or anything you call that you have to do it mandatory, right? <clears throat> okay. Clear? Understood the meaning of the wherever? Yes, yes, yes. The conjugation is Devo. Mm -hmm. Devi. Deve. Yamo. Dobbiamo, dovete, devono. And the verb is potere. Potere means to can or may. Uh, Sassidar can learn Italian. Okay. Can learn, right? So mm -hmm. potere verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. The may learn Italian. That is, there is a more possibility that he can do that. Right? So, potere verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Posso. Poi. Tuo. There is one more verb called to want. I want a cup of tea or I want to go to office today. Okay. Or <clears throat> I I want to learn Italian language, right? <clears throat> so whenever you are using I want to do something, use volere. Okay. Volio. Okay. 
Why these are called Why? modal words? Because these verbs always come with one another verb. Mm -hmm. So I have to do something or I have to go. So you can see that the verb is have to and go is also there. To go is also a verb, right? Yes. I have to. I have to complete the homework. I have to is or I have to is a verb, and to complete is also a verb, right? So all these three verbs will come along with one another verb. I can drink water or I can drink hot coffee. So I can ke saath you see drink is also coming right. That is also an action and that is also a verb. I want to drink. I want to eat chicken today. Okay. So <coughs> all these three verbs will come along with one another verb. That is why these are called assistant verb or modal verbs. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to remember this. Okay. What is modal verb and the definition and all? We are not here to learn the definition. We are here to learn the uses. Okay. Automatically, you will have to use two verbs, and whenever we are using two verbs, we are not conjugating the second verb. Okay. Did I told you this or not? No, right? No, oh, this first time. Okay, perfect. And uh, did I explain to you the ways to make any sentence formal? No, only Think some examples. You can use. Komista, komista. That is the using third person instead of second person becomes form, right? Okay. No. Yeah. Correct. You are right. So I think I explained this, right? Whenever you are talking to somebody and you want to speak to that person formally, then treat him as the third person. It automatically becomes form. Oh yeah, respect to like yeah exactly. And the subject pronoun I told you will be lay always even for me right? Lay, lay, like. I think we have learned this. Let me find out. Well, you check in uh, day six, I think. to make any statement formal we will use third person instead of second person right yes say intelligent lay intelligent formal formal right correct i'll just add one thing over here and subject noun will always be Lay. Oh, you proceed here, whatever. Specifically, clear. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I think um, it is very important to revise also. The things that we have learned. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, cool. Uh, coming back to your regular verbs, yeah. <coughs> what I was doing, I forgot. Ah, so I was telling. Uh, no, this. Uh, what can be in case of single semi tense containing multiple verb 
Yes. In case of single sentence containing multiple verbs, only the first verb will get conjugated. Okay. Okay. For example, I have to go to school. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to is there. That is a verb. And go is also a verb. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have to is what the very verb. So yo yo devo go is what verb go is andare verb right yo devo andare to is a school is a school right so I conjugated the very verb and not andare verb right. Uh -huh. I have to go to school means that what you have to introduce. Huh? They were already done. You they were and that is school. So always conjugate just the verb, first verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, see. Uh, I want to drink. Uh, I want to drink coffee. Okay. I want is what volume, right? Yeah. You will know no, all your time. To drink is what? Bere. Where is it? Yeah. Volume. Bere. Cafe. Uh -huh. Why we are not put here? You will know? Yeah. Because you only said no, it is optional. That's what my option is. Good. Uh, yeah, like you guys are having amazing uh, like focus. So it is good. It is just that we don't uh, put a lot of effort after the class. Okay, this is one form. The second form is uh, I. Have to go to school. This is what we have translated, right? Because I have exam today. Okay. So um, over here, can you figure it out that this is not one sentence, this is two sentences? Got con conjuncted by because. Yes, correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So wherever you see the two sentences are clubbed into one sentences with the help of any conjunction. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will have to again start conjugating after the conjunction. Okay. For example, you devo andare a scuola. Okay. Now another sentence to start, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have is what? O. O. Exam. Again, I conjugated after the conjunction. Okay. Then you understood this? Exam today. Today. Yes. Okay. You O exam or G. Clear? Yes, sir. <coughs> no problem, guys. No problem. We will again do uh, more examples and clarification on this into next class. Okay. But uh, in this, your uh, three, four days ka vacation. Try to remember these conjugations because these are irregular verbs. You guys have no other option just to memorize it. Okay. Rahul, uh, these are the listed irregulars, or other than this, is there any list? There are, there are, there are more irregulars. 
but these are the irregulars that we will be using commonly in our duty day life. Okay, like a frequent words, okay. Yes, because if I will uh, keep on giving in the list, that will not make sense, right? This is what will be used in our day to day life. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay, Rahul. Yes. Clear confusion. No confusion. Clear. But clearly confused. <laughs> No problem. Where on whatever part you guys are confused, practice and uh, get back to me. See, uh, just now I asked whether we learned uh, informal and formal or not, and how to conjugate. Some of you were confused, right? So no, no, no. there is no confusion. It's just the lack of practice that is uh, hampering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, please do that because after this, uh, can I turn the phone? Yeah. Hello. Hello. हाँ भैया आपको एड्रेस पता है ना दे दो हाँ घर पे आप दे दो सर सो वे विल डू मोर प्रैक्टिस ओके फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स फॉर नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव क्लासेस आई विल नॉट इंट्रोड्यूस एनी न्यू टॉपिक ओके we'll do the full revision of everything so i think we have done lot of uh, revision of uh, most of the important topics but try to like try to regularly revise each and everything and try to remember these irregular verbs because there is no other option than remembering this because there are no logics sometimes you can see the logics that okay these are still ending with o e a i a m o a t e a n o but uh, it is not as per the formula Right. Cool. <clears throat> I am there to help you guys. So uh, even even post classes, okay. So whenever you guys are doing practice, if you have any confusion, I am there on WhatsApp. Okay. Sure. Cool. Yes, Rob. Okay. No problem. Uh, let me know if you need any of my assistance in doing anything. Okay. Sure. So that is it for today. Okay. Homework is only the revising this one, na? Yeah, yeah. Rev revision is your homework. <coughs> revision ah. and uh, learn this part. You okay. will have to remember it. There is no other way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Memorize it. There is no other way. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you can see the logics. Okay. Devo, Poso, Devi, Poi can match a bit, but still you have to memorize. <laughs> hard and fast, right? Mm -hmm. The last class, the ERE, ERE was easy to remember. <laughs> see, this is the uh, irregular. Irregulars are like, see, if you don't, uh, if you cannot, at least try to do one one verb every day. One one irregular verb every day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I understand it cannot be done in one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye. See you on. Ciao, ciao. Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye.